Farewell to the legendary actor. Jamie Lee Curtis passed away. She left behind a legacy of strength. Hope keep watching for more details. Hi guys, what's up? My name is Alana. Welcome back to my channel like this video and enjoy this video. Don't miss the main topic of this video, so let's start the latest update. Ronaldo's father was a soldier who died from alcoholism, leaving football star frustrated. World-famous professional football star Cristiano Ronaldo opened up about the relationship he shared with his late father. Dede Severo was a soldier who sadly passed away from alcoholism when Ronaldo was 20. The star, who is a doting boyfriend and father, thinks his dad turned to alcohol because he was frustrated with life, which in turn left the football star frustrated over the close relationship they never had. Cristiano Ronaldo, 38, is one of the world's most iconic professional football players. His incredible skills have taken the Madeira-born star to phenomenal heights of fame and success. Aside from his illustrious career, the top-rated footballer is also a loving family man. Ronaldo has been together with his beloved girlfriend, Georgina Rodriguez, 29, since 2016, and the two raised five kids in total. As a father, Ronaldo loves his children dearly, and when it comes to making sure he remains a good father to them, the athlete does his best. In a previous interview, he spoke about his kids and mentioned that he tries to lead by the example his mother and family set for him regarding parenting. Ronaldo even uses some of the less favorable experiences he had with his late father, in particular, as a lesson concerning the kind of father he wants to be. In previous sit-down interviews, the 38-year-old has opened up about the complex relationship he shared with his late father, Denis Aveiro. Cristiano Ronaldo's father shared a complicated relationship with his son. Aveiro went to war for Portugal as a young soldier who fought in Angola and Mozambique. At the time, he was accompanied by his childhood friend, Alberto Martins, who was also a soldier. Having spent time in a hostile environment when he was shipped off to the African continent, Aveiro was changed forever. After he and Martins returned to their home country after the war, Aveiro would work odd jobs here and there and would drink excessively. In fact, a news outlet that covered a story on Aveiro reported that the late football star's father would often depend on his friends to cover his alcohol expenses whenever he ran out of money. Aveiro struggled to overcome what he had experienced in the war and his development of alcoholism, unfortunately had adverse effects on his relationship with both his son and his wife. A documentary about Ronaldo's life revealed that Aveiro would physically abuse his wife, and though he did not lay a finger on his son, their relationship became strained. According to Ronaldo's mom, Aveiro had been hardened by the war, which turned him into an angry man. However, Ronaldo is still saddened by the fact that Aveiro will never get to see his continued success. While talking about how his father would act while under the influence, Ron Adelzo said that Aveiro would be humorous and enjoyed telling stories and singing. However, because Aveiro consumed alcohol daily, it grew increasingly difficult for his son to converse with him and get to know him better. Ronaldo admitted, I'm not ashamed to say it. I didn't really get to know my father for real, from the heart, to open up and tell him things. Sadly, Ronaldo's time with his dad came to an end before the two could find a way to connect on a deeper level as father and son. Aveiro passed away from alcoholism when his son was only 20 years old. Of the possible reason why his dad drank so heavily during his life, the football legend expressed, I don't know, maybe he was frustrated with life. I don't know and I don't care. Ronaldo expressed hurt and disappointment at his father's actions, which prevented them from having a close bond. According to him, Obviously I wanted a different father, a dad who could be more present to see my achievements. That's what frustrates me the most. Cristiano Ronaldo still has love for his father and now has a beautiful family of his own. Ronaldo is saddened by the fact that Aveiro never got a chance to see all his success as both a football player and a father himself. However, 
The fact that he could never devote himself entirely to being his father did not mean that the complicated late dad didn't love his son dearly. In fact, his childhood friend, Martins, confirmed that Avero would constantly brag about his son, even before he became a huge success. Avero would boast, My son will be the best player in the world. Similarly, the fact that Ronaldo expressed his frustrations with his late dad does not mean he did not love his father either. When Avero suffered from liver failure, his son did all he could to try and save his life, including flying him out on a private air ambulance to be transported to England for treatment. Even while fighting for his life in the hospital and as strained as their relationship was, Ronaldo still went to see him. This also further indicates the unconditional yet unspoken love between the two. In 2019, during a sit-down interview, Piers Morgan played a past clip of Ronaldo's dad, speaking about him and their family a year before he passed. As he praised his family and friends for being fantastic, Alvaro made special mention of his son and how proud he was of his achievements. While watching the footage, Ronaldo got emotional and started crying, revealing that he had never seen the video before. However, he also acknowledged that his dad had, in fact, told him he was proud of him, and he recalled how he was treated as the golden one in the family. Despite this, Cristiano is still saddened by the fact that Avero will never get to see his continued success. Nonetheless, he recognizes, It is what it is, I, maybe I get everything in the football because he's in the sky. One of the ways Ronaldo keeps his father's memory close to him is by keeping his ashes with him at his house. He said he placed them next to the ashes of his late son and talked to them all the time. Now, Ronaldo is a father himself, raising his children with Rodriguez, who he deems a fantastic person and whom he is passionately in love with. When it comes to his actions as a dad, Ronaldo believes the following values are imperative to instill in his kids. You have to be humble, you have to work hard, you have to respect the people, and you add healthy environment around your house. Ronaldo also expressed how he wants to be known as the cool dad among his kids, but the interviewer quipped about him not getting his hopes up when they reach an age where they think parents aren't cool. Regardless, the pro athlete assured Morgan that he would be more than prepared for that situation, and in fact, looks forward to watching his kids grow and blossom to the point where they build their own families one day. Thanks for watching my video.